With a single click, we're gonna remove some backgrounds in Photoshop. Removing a background can be a very tedious and complicated process, but sometimes you just need something to go between the background and the foreground. And you wanna do that quickly, you, you don't have time. You, you, you just, you, 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 in this example, I want the word frog to go behind the actual frog. To do that, activate the background layer and press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate it. Then drag it to the top of the layers panel, go to the properties panel, let's scroll down, and simply click remove background. Yes, that button actually exists. When you click on it, Photoshop will use artificial intelligence to create a layer mask that hides what it thinks is the background. And it actually did a pretty good job, except for the branch here on the left. I can simply activate the layer and use the quick selection tool to select this area, activate the layer mask and fill it with white to reveal it. Make sure you watch my video about layer masks to understand how they work. Next example is the word fog. I want it to go behind that guy. Again, duplicate the background, put it on top and click remove background. Done. Now I can zoom in, activate the layer mask and maybe use a soft brush to either reveal or hide some portions of the foreground. Finally, let's try something more complicated. Let's see if we can easily put the word dog behind the dog. Duplicate the background, put it on top and remove background. It's fine, but we can work on it a bit more to fix the mask around the fur. Simply right click on the mask and choose select and mask. Here you can change the view to on black and set the opacity to 100%. I'm gonna click this refine hair button for a better selection. And I'll scroll down and check the contaminate colors to remove the white halo or glow around the subject. I'll set the output to new layer with layer mask and click OK. And now we have a much better mask. That's it. If you want to quickly remove a simple background, then go ahead and use the remove background button.